<laughs> okay, right, let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen and you've got some actual talent helping you out in the kitchen today, Mark. Yeah, finally, oh. I've got someone who can oh. cook joining me in the kitchen today. No offence, Mike. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Robert's going to uh, be in the kitchen a little bit later to help me with this recipe. But first of all, we're, we're going to get it started. So we've got a smoked fish omelette today. So this is probably one of the first recipes I actually did, like, at college many, many moons uh, ago. And it's actually sort of, it's called a, a Eggs Arnold Bennett, the French term. But it's a smoked fish omelette, basically, over here. Um, so first of all, we're going to get some flavour into the bechamel. So the bechamel is that creamy sort of centre throughout the eggs. So in this pan here... I've just warmed the milk and the cream. We've got some nutmeg in there, bay leaves, peppercorns, and a little bit of onion. And I've just brought that to the boil, and that's just been infusing for about 20 minutes. Now I'm just going to strain that. So you just get all the onions and spices out. So you can discard that, and then we've got all this flavour in the milk. And then we've got our smoked fish. So this is a great one if you've gone out fishing, caught some kawaii, you can smoke it yourself and then it's, uh, it just makes it an amazing dish. If not, you can go and buy this in the supermarket or the fish market. Just check for some bones, take them out. And then we're just going to drop it in to the warm milk. Okay, we're just going to keep that heat on there and it's just going to uh, warm the fish up and it's going to make it nice and easy to flake a bit later. And it's also going to perfume that milk with this nice smoky flavour. So it only needs to be in there about 10 minutes. So a little bit later, you can come back, we'll flake the fish, we're going to make that bechamel, and I'm going to teach you the secret to make a fantastic omelette. Not one, but two chefs in the Mastercraft kitchen, so, Mike, you cannot possibly <laughs> stuff up anything. Well, easier said than done, I think, <laughs> but we'll find out what's happening. You're right, Mal, I have with us here in the Mastercraft kitchen Robert Oliver. Uh, Robert, Mark must be very relieved to finally have someone that's yeah. um, capable to help him. How are you oh, going? No, that's not very nice. Come I, on. I know. I've been I know everything. how good he is already. I've seen him at work. So. OK, now, you two... Have you seen Mike? <laughs> yeah, have you seen me? <laughs> no. OK, we're well, in for you. a treat. I'm just going to stand back. Let you two boys do all the all right. work today. Um, so what are we making first, Mark? Right, so we're making a smoked fish omelette. Uh, we've just warmed the fish up, so you can just see now, it just strained it, and it's just sort of flaking away. Mm. Don't want to mash it too much. We want those nice big flakes through it. Smells good. Right, so uh, as we've got Robert in here, he's going to make a bechamel. <laughs> With the, the infused... With the infused bite. milk, yeah, yeah. So we'll okay. get the butter on. So we've got the butter in there, and okay. then we've got the flour. So we're just going to whisk that in. Get it all in together. Yep. And then once all that comes together... Pretty much has, a little more. Yeah, yep, yep, no, that's it. And then we're going to slowly add the milk, sort of little bit by little bit, and you want to... Should the... I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, you can yep. start doing it. Uh, so I don't need to watch you. Mike was here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get hard. You get hard. What does get on really well, don't you? <laughs> so, so the secret to a bechamel is yeah. we've done it before. Is just constantly stirring so you don't get it lumpy. Okay, good. Yeah, and it's just like a mayonnaise. So you're adding a little bit of milk, stirring it, little bit, little bit, little bit. As it starts to get sort of thick and sort of at this stage now, you can go with a little bit more. You know. <laughs> no pressure. Go. How are you going? Good, good, good. I'm just checking. Really there you go. Oh, know what nice. I'm doing, know what I'm doing. Oh, good, OK. Yeah. I'll leave you talk. I love and... that you're using smoked fish, by the way. <laughs> oh, this, this is a great this recipe. Is, yeah. And it, and it won't work without the smoked fish. How do you two know each other, by the way? Because I heard you did an amazing fundraiser last year. Is that correct? Yeah, we, we both worked yeah. on a fundraiser together. Well, yeah. Robert uh, organised the whole thing. It was for Fiji. Uh, yeah. So, really. so I, I met Mark through Michael Meredith. Right. And it was an amazing event, don't you think? It was like oh, it, it was a, the spirit of it was amazing. Yeah, it was fantastic. Been. So and a th lot of our chefs came together, and and I think we organised it in it was probably what, under three weeks. It was like two, three oh, it was weeks. About eight like days. the whole yeah, it was about the whole eight thing days. came together. It was it was amazing. Yeah. And you yeah. raised quite a bit of money, I heard, too. Yeah, we did. We did. It went to Oxfam, which was on the ground in Fiji. So it was a really. It wasn't just about raising money though. It was about really giving people an opportunity to be aware of the cyclone but also just express their feelings for Fiji. Right. And it was the spirit of the event was really amazing. Oh, nice work. Oh, well, here we are. Food. Yep, back together over food again. OK, yeah. so what are you doing now, Mark? Right, so I'm just getting the egg mixture uh, mm -hmm. ready. So we just cracked some eggs, just beat them up, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to start cooking them just in, in two seconds' time. That's so good. back to the bechamel. So it's nice and thick and creamy, so that's what we want. And a good tip for you now is just to taste it and make sure that floury aftertaste is gone. So you want to make sure you cook the flour out. OK, well, that's my job. I love tasting things. So oh, I just yeah. stick, oh, stick yeah. my finger yeah, in stick it. your finger oh, in yeah. It is hot. That's what chefs do. <laughs> oh, no, it's done again. No, no, I'm just... No, perfect. Who is this guy? <laughs> that's why he hates me coming here.
OK, so... Um, All right, so that's cooked yeah. out. So yeah. now we're just going to uh, slowly flake the fish through and just fold it through, because you don't want to break that fish up. And then you can do that yeah. now, yeah? And uh, a little bit more salt and pepper. And then, very last minute, we're just going to drop a couple of egg yolks in just to richen that bechamel up. Beautiful. All right, as Robert's doing that, we're going to start the eggs. So just beat up the eggs, got some seasoning in there, nice hot pan, pop them in, OK? I, saw and an, I, I have got to tell you something, Mark. I saw an omelette as part of a chef's competition recently. Yeah, yeah. Well, well that's it. When I was growing up... Uh, well, not growing up. When I was uh, starting to be a chef uh, many moons ago, um, this was one of the things, sort of a traditional thing, what people got you to do in the kitchen. You know, you, you'd go and work 18 hours a, a day in the kitchen and then they'd turn around and go, right, make me an omelette. And you're like, oh, it's easy, you know? Three Michelin-style restaurant and you're going to make the chef an omelette, you know, you can't go wrong. But it's probably one of the hardest things to do. You right, know? so that's a good test, is it? Yeah, it's a, very, yeah. it's a very good test. I'm glad he didn't ask me to make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically all, all what we're doing is, you know, you've got the pan, it's a nice sort of heat in there and the egg's sort of setting. And we're just we're keeping that egg on the move, you know, we don't want to set it straight away and get any colour on there. So you're almost getting it sort of half set. And then when we're to about that stage, you can sort of spread it out and get a nice even layer and then start that sort of bottom of the egg is start to, starting to set. And that'll okay. give some structure in the, in the uh, omelette. OK, so the, a little bit of patience is required, a little bit of, um, you know, precision, which is good. This is going to be perfect. Going back to Fiji, boys, I just wanted to know, Robert, what, yeah. what was your association with Fiji? I was raised in Fiji. You were raised in and Fiji. And a lot of my work is in Fiji, so I've got a very heartfelt relationship with the whole country. Yeah, beautiful place, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, good work. I think boys. everyone loves Fijian people. I mean, that's that was what was evident during the fundraiser. Yeah. Was it, oh, you know... definitely. And some of the nicest people in the world, actually. Oh, nice. Really nice, really friendly. Oh, there you go. Well, you'll be welcome back there. OK, <laughs> yeah. good. <laughs> so you can see now, we're still... The egg's still a little bit under on the top, but right. that's fine. We're just going to pop our bechamel on there because we're going to uh, put the whole thing under the oven. We're going to put some grated cheese on it, gratinate it, and then we're going to roll it up after. Yum. So that's going to be the true test Yum. if the uh, if you made the omelette well and you don't overcook the egg. Because there's nothing worse than an overcooked omelette. Right. You, know, you want it just slightly sort of soft in the middle. Oh, that looks incredible. It looks great, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Look and a great. good tip now is not to overfill it now. Okay. <laughs> so we've got lots of tips here. We've got the grated cheese going on. Any particular cheese you like to use there, Mark? Oh, just some parmesan. Parmesan. But you can use any cheese you want. Okay, right. cool. Be generous. And then we'll just pop that under the oven, uh, under the grill or in a hot oven just to melt. And then we'll bring it out a bit later and roll it and finish the Oh, nice work. Mm. Robert, you did an outstanding job. See, I just stood okay. back. You boys did all the hard work. We're going to catch up more with you a little later on. Great. Now over to the Mastercraft kitchen where Mark's just finishing up the smoked fish omelettes. And I'm surprised, actually, that you didn't bring your smoker in again, actually, Mark. I was very impressed <laughs> with that smoker. Yeah. I'll get you one. Oh, nice. Thanks. Good. Right, so the omelettes, so just put it under the grill. Um, it's just melted now. It's nice and warm. So this is a little trick for you now. Just going to curl it over, just to help it go, press it down, and then carry on rolling it, and then pop it out on the board. Oh. So you've sort of got a roll. So you and make that, that look easy. <laughs> That's an omelette, man. That is an omelette. So yeah. it's nice and creamy and rich in the centre. Oh. Just going to take the ends off. I'll eat, I'll eat them. Pop it in half. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Look at that. Um, it's on the plate. <gasps> a few chives to garnish and some toasted almonds as well. A little bit of olive oil. Simple as that. Really easy. Really simple. Right? Nice and creamy. <laughs> Look at that. You can see the cream in there. Beautiful omelette set around it. It's going to be great. You guys want to try it? We would love to try it. <laughs> when have we ever said no? no huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, true. I never thought of putting oh. smoked fish in an omelette, but I guess if you've got... Here you go, Robert. Thanks. You have some too. I'll get a fork today. Mmm, yum. That looks nice. I'm going to try a little bit. Why don't you chop the ends off just presentation? Yeah, fancy no, well, chef stuff. Chef's tip bits, they are. Yeah, so yeah, the ends. Ah. <laughs> I Give away all the secrets. Now. OK, let me try that. Hang on. Let's try Always so beautiful. Yeah, you get them there. OK. Now, you know what? I love your rolling technique because I can never actually flip. So now I've learned another secret. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Take care. Get in here quick. Yeah.